looks like I'm wearing a bra, but it's not, I promise. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video! So in today's video, I wanted to share with you all my entire BTS merch collection, whether it be official BTS merch or just BTS related items. I thought this would be an interesting video to do. Long story short, I got into BTS when DNA came out. I was just shook in the house. I was like, who are these fine men? Their beautiful hair colors, the choreography, the production, the vocals, just all of the above. Ever since I fell into the BTS hole, which I have no regrets, um, I've been through many phases of my ARMY self. I've been through my cringy phase, I've been through my no jams phase, and now I feel like I'm at a chill phase where I just appreciate all of them um, day by day. But sometimes my crazy obsessed fan boy self jumps out and today's the day. Now I am actually going to be seeing them in concert for the very first time in May in Chicago and I'm so excited because to me this is like my birthday celebration because my birthday's in May 6th but the concert I believe is like May 13th or something like that, I don't even know. But oh my goodness, I'm so excited to finally see all the boys live for the first time because I couldn't see them last year. They sold out on me, it was a rough experience to say the least. But don't you worry my flawless army, I got you. I will vlog my experience and share with you all how it goes and I just, oh my god, I, I'm gonna see them in person! But yes, without further ado, let's get into my BTS collection. Whoosh. So first and foremost, let's just start with the big elephant in the room. So I have this art piece which actually I put in my room tour videos, which by the way, if you have not seen my BTS themed room tour video, link will be in the description down below. I was in the middle of redoing my room because I wanted to have a fresh star after, you know, a rough 2018. And so I saw this art print and it's from Society6. I fell in love with it. It's basically um, an art print of them in their idol music video. And I don't know, it just looks super artsy see and not like you know posters plastered all over your wall and so I felt like this is a very grown way to uh, showcase your inner army. Next I'm gonna share with you all all of the children that I have adopted. Oh my goodness I have uh, four little uh, BT21 plushies um, and three out of the four are gifted to me so thank you everyone. So the first one that I got was Tata because Taehyung is my bias um, so I adopted my first son, yes my first child, um, and I got him in LA at the Lion Friends store and I don't know he just has such a big head and he's nice and red. I love the color scheme. Um, I like the size of it and like you can hug it and cuddle with it and all the above. Next I have these cushions of RJ and Cookie. Yes, yes, yes. Um, they're not official BT21 merch, um, but Milk Makeup sent these to me for Christmas as a Christmas present. So shout out to Milk Makeup for coming through. They know that I am an obsessed BTS fan and so they came through. And the last BT21 character I have here is Koya. Look how sleepy he looks. He's so cute. A subscriber actually gifted this to me when I bumped into them at the mall. They were like, oh my god, Kevin, I love you so much. Wait right here, I want to get you something. And I was like, okay. And I thought they were going to get me like a Starbucks or something. They literally went to Hot Topic, came back in like five minutes and were like, here you go. And um, so shout out to you for giving me this because that's so sweet. Wait, I almost forgot the exact same person that gifted me that Koya plushie also gifted me this Hmong headband. Um, they gifted this to me last year at Pride. I held a meetup in Seattle during Pride. And so they were like, I want to give this to you. And I was like, okay. All right, so the next piece of merch I have here is um, my BTS little wristlet clutch thingamajig. I got this when I was in San Francisco when YouTube sent me over there for a little trip. And so I went to Japantown and I went to their little shops in there. They had this and I was like, I'm sold, I need it. Yes, I brought it to the clubs. Literally, when I was in Vancouver, Canada for uh, my sister's 19th birthday, we went out and I literally like brought these this out because I was like, this is my bag for the night. Like who needs Gucci, who needs Louis Vuitton, Chanel when you got BTS merch. Okay, next I'm gonna share with you all my keychains and all of the keychains I have on my car keys are gifted to me as well from um, subscribers and one of them is actually for my sister and they're all Taehyung. Um, people just know that he's my bias and so they're like, Kevin, we wanna give you this and I was like, 
Thank you, you're so sweet. So this is the first keychain. Um, this is from my sister. She gave it to me for Christmas. And here is V on one side, and here is him on the other side. He has like two little outfits. It's so adorable. Then I have this one of Taehyung. Um, this was gifted to me after a movie premiere of uh, the BTS Love Yourself tour film. Um, I went to a movie theater. We saw the movie. Um, a bunch of y'all were waiting for me, which by the way, that is a video on YouTube as well. Um, I wore BTS merch in hopes of making army friends at the mall. Link in the description. And lastly, I have this one with a photo of his face. And if you flip it over, there's another photo of his face. <gasps> How beautiful is your other daddy? All right, so the next piece of merch is also gifted to me. Oh my gosh, literally all the merch that I have, I did it by myself, like people give it to me. <laughs> Thank you, by the way. It's this BTS necklace and so many of you have been asking me where I got it and I have no idea. Um, Milk Makeup gave this to me for Christmas as well. Um, it was part of the package and um, I don't know where they got it, maybe online. <laughs> I mean, I wear it quite often. Ooh, maybe I can wear it today. Look at my army looking outfit with army green. <laughs> yeah, I wore it in my um, e-boy video too, so it looked really good with that aesthetic. Also from Milk Makeup. Oh my goodness, they're just like coming through with the hookups. Okay, um, I had lunch with them when I went to LA last summer, and um, so they gifted me uh, these BTS socks, and I used these in my, um, I decorated my Christmas tree with like BTS uh, ornaments uh, video, so that will be linked down below too. Shameless self-plug. I mean, I don't want to wear them because they're so cute, so I just keep them in the package and use them as a Christmas tree ornament. But anyway, yeah, we have all the members, and this, is, I believe, is like their first era. Like, look at Tay and his orange hair. This was also from Milk Makeup on the same trip to LA when I had lunch with them. They gave me this BTS hoodie. <gasps> this is so cute. Like, this is classic. Like, if you are an army, you have to have at least a hoodie with the logo, right? So this is the Love Yourself one, and it has, like, the little cool flower design. Um, and in the back, this is what it looks like. Oh, honey, has all their names and whatnot. Yes. It's a bit snug because it is a size small and it fits like exact and this type of material like doesn't stretch or whatnot. But you know what? I'm gonna make it work anyway. All right, so the next piece of clothing, I got this little t-shirt which has all of their faces on it. Um, and I just love how it's so cute and colorful because you see the outlines? Yes, honey. This was from their Wings era, I guess. This is what it looks like in the back, yes. Um, I believe this is from a store called so aesthetic shop.com or something like that. I don't know. I worked with them and they gifted me some pieces and so this was one of them. A bunch of K-pop um, merch stores actually emailed me and like gift me some pieces so I got another piece. I don't remember which store this one's from but um, this one is a recreation or like a replica of a hoodie that Taehyung wore and I just wanted to match him one day and um, so I got this and it honestly just feels like I'm wearing his hoodie so like thanks. Then I have this, and it's not the best quality because I washed it once, and she is just pilling. So it's a love yourself. Ooh, it's a love yourself mock neck, and it's super oversized. I got a size large because I thought that they ran small because like that uh, BTS hoodie that I got from Milk, it like kind of ran small. So I was like, oh, like I should probably like size up, right? I'm usually medium, so I got large, but it is humongous. And this is what the back looks like, and this is what I'm talking about. Like it's starting to peel off in the back, so like the quality is not the best but I still wear it as like pajamas because it's super warm and big and thick and oversized and just comf. So the last two pieces of clothing that I have here are these two iconic BTS shirts with their faces on it. And so many of y'all have been asking me where I got this. Um, it's from a clothing store on Instagram that I found called Nostalgia and they actually sent these both to me. Um, they sent me this red one first and I'm obsessed with this color, like yes! And then they also sent me over this purple lavender one and I freaking love this one too. Um, I have no idea which one I want to wear to the BTS concert so can y'all help me? All right, so I have this book and it's called Learn Korean with BTS. And this was actually gifted to me for Christmas from my best friend Marshall. And he just left a sweet note in it in the back. Um, I have not really read this because I'm very intimidated in learning a new language, uh, especially just by reading it. Cause I feel like if I wanted to learn a new language, I have to go to like class and like learn that way. I don't know, I feel like I learned best that way. Cause reading a book itself, it's just, it looks difficult. So I don't know, but I have a book and basically you learn Korean um, with their songs and I think that's pretty cute um, but yeah anyway this is from my best friend Marshall for Christmas so thank you Marshall so moving on to albums I only have two albums but I have five total um, this was sent to me from a K-pop store as well so thank you um, but this is the love yourself tier album I got all four versions they sent over um, this one I think might be my favorite because I don't know it just reminds me of like a good time in my life um, and I don't know I really like the whole vibe of it but anyway I have this version 
and of course with the four albums it comes with four different posters and um, four different photo cards and I think it came with like a standee as well uh, my sister thought it was so cute so I gave her one of them let's just open one of these posters um let's see let's see what this one is <gasps> oh yes honey this one is the one where they're in the desert like look at them wow they're all so beautiful I'm so excited for the new album like their persona one and like their photos already came out and I'm just like oh my what like they snapped honey like they went off and the last album I have here is the Love Yourself Answer one, and I love how holographic and rainbow it is. Yes, BTS is an LGBT ally. I bought this one myself, and this was from Target. Um, ooh, let's just look through some of the photos. Oh my god, yes, look at you, boo. I freaking love their packaging and like how they like do their albums. It's so different from the albums here in the US, and it's so pretty, and I just, it's like an actual like package. Like, it's so cool. As for my photo cards, here are the photo cards. Um, I have little pieces of string looped around them because I did a Christmas tree ornament with them and I haven't taken it off since. But I have uh, two Taehyung ones. These were actually gifted to me from um, you all, so shout out to y'all. And then these were the ones that actually came in the albums. I have a Jimin one, I have an RM one. This is another RM one, this one's funny. Um, and this one's a Chungguk one. And I'm pretty sure I gave one to my sister because it was a Jimin one and she really liked that one, so I gave it to her. And the last thing out of my entire BTS collection is going to be um, my giant Taehyung poster. Yes. Ooh. Hey, boo, what's up? I'm going to hold him a little crooked and angled so it doesn't like reflect, but look at how beautiful he is. I got this poster in Vancouver when I went with my cousins and my sister to celebrate her 19th birthday. Um, we went to Richmond and they had so much like BTS merch and my cousins just know me so well. So we got a Taehyung poster for my room um, and it also like just matches like the color palette of my room, I guess, like pastel and I don't know. He's just so cute in this photo and so I love it and so I have it framed. Yes, I'm that extra. I mean, I didn't want to pin him to a wall. Like, he deserved to be framed, so here he is. Alrighty, everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did like this video up, also leave me a comment down below letting me know what kinds of BTS merch do you have. I do want to get an army bomb because I am going to go to the concert soon, and so I want to get one of those little light sticks, glow sticks, and, um... So, I will be on the lookout and hunt for that because they have so many different versions. Today's flawless feature goes to this person right here. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. It does not go unnoticed and I appreciate you so much. If you would like to have your very own shout out in the next flawless feature, all you have to do is share that you're watching my latest video on your Instagram story and tag me at flawlesskevin and that is all you have to do. But yes, I love you all so much and remember everyone, to be flawless is to be yourself. Bye!